Here on my desktop is a photo that I'd like to use on my website and also to retain a high quality copy of for later use in print. Just so that you can see I have nothing up my sleeve. I'm connected to my web server here. I'll change into my images folder. You can see that there's a certain set of images there. To activate the Alfred workflow that I've created, I select the image in Finder, double tap the command key, and use this optimize and publish image workflow. It asks me for a short name for the file because oftentimes the existing timestamp file names are rather clunky to use for writing. So I'll just call it fire truck. The script plays a ping sound when it starts and again when it stops because it takes several seconds for it to resize and upload the image to the tiny PNG web service to optimize it. I don't know how to display a progress indicator at this point. Okay, so the workflow is complete and it's giving us a small report here of everything that it's done. Uh, it has uh, detected that the original was wider than 2048 pixels, so it, uh, for the optimized version, it resized it to 2048 pixels wide. It optimized the image using the Tiny PNG API and uploaded the optimized version to the website. So if I now check my website, you can see that it includes a fire truck X jpeg it has also placed the original in my local copy so if i go to my finder here this is my local folder where i keep my posts and my um, images and here you can see uh, the file with the same firetruck x.jpg name and this one is 3.3 megabytes in size so the web version is roughly 90 percent smaller and finally, the script has copied a markdown link to the clipboard. So to illustrate how that works, um, I'll start a new post using another workflow that I've customized. And I'll call it my fire truck. Um, and if I immediately hit uh, command V, it will paste in the markdown link. can uh, add in some text here. And save the file and preview it in marked. You'll notice that uh, the image is broken. That's because what I've started here is a draft and it's located in a draft folder. So if I update that relative path name um, the preview will correctly show the file. If I go to my website and look at the version there, um, you can see that it is there and despite being only uh, 350k in size it, it uh, is plenty decent for a web version.